Hey, Sound Engraver here. Today we're going to be adding to our percussion kit. So up until this point, we've had a kick synth for our kick drum and also a snare synth for our audio file here. But we want to add more to that, right? So we need Super Collider to have flexibility to pull all these different sounds from all these different libraries. And there is a way to do that. Um, that is through this class called Dictionary. And I'm not going to explain the inner workings of this block of code, although I am happy to provide for you a couple videos down in the description below, um, videos that have inspired this code, but I will touch on a couple things here. Um, so with using Dictionary, you will need to use a class called path name and next to, next to this path name we see a string that is our path name and what this essentially is is my desktop with a folder called vision in fact it's right behind me so I'm waving and the folder is right behind me in that that top corner and inside this vision folder is a folder called super collider and another folder called soundscapes and another called Glitch. Now for the record, Glitch, it's full of sounds that are no longer Glitch, they used to be Glitch, but I have used this path name for so many of my files, so I didn't bother changing it, and I will one day, I will organize one day. Um, so you won't really hear Glitch sounds. But under the Glitch folder, We have 10 subfolders, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And all these folders are from libraries I've extracted from Logic Pro's selection. And you have heard a few of these before. Uh, you have heard Neon in this order. That's our hi-hat. Shaker. And Tap. And here are a few others called Machine, I believe this is from a percussion library in the Alchemy synth that Logic Pro has provided for us. So um, that is my glitch folder. So you can see if we evaluate this dictionary here, I have a path name before I go to another path name. So you can see that it is taking our folder from uh, the African Percussion Library, Asian Percussion Library, um, a s folder that I've called Best Sounds, my, my, my personal favorite, and so on. And since this dictionary has been evaluated, um, or it, I should say inside this code, we see a familiar face and that is our buffer ugen. And at any given moment, Super Collider can read and send to the audio server any of these sound files that are under glitch. So that is evaluated, and we also can prove that this is indeed a class called dictionary. And the size, the size of entries or subfolders is 10, as we have just counted 10 folders, subfolders under the main glitch folder. So with this, we can be very flexible. Super, Super Collider can be very flexible pulling these sounds and, um, and you know, using patterns. I will be demonstrating just in a minute here. So for this, for dictionary, we do need a synth. And I'm just going to go basic. I'm going to go and cheat. It's not cheating. Uh, copy our snare synth and just changing the name to sounds and establishing that and we will go ahead and also I mean this is scandalous we're gonna copy our snare p bind and go ahead and add that there and so I'll just call it sounds because I'm original like that and using our synth name sounds. Uh, that looks good, except our buffer argument is no longer going to be that name snare. 
uh, it's going to be our dictionary. And I'm going to also include a pattern, and you've seen this before, PRAND. And using our, our, or having our list there, that actually is going to be our dictionary, which I have established as a, our global variable D, if you can see that here. I did forget to mention that. And having D, we are going to name one of our subfolders under glitch. And since I have the global variable T here, I'm just going to go ahead and establish our tempo clock. Oh, it's like, that's rather slow. Um, I forgot to take this library, uh, library, uh, duration. All right, this should be a little more interesting. I forgot to change the snare's duration. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and add the kick here in just a moment. Three, four. Close enough. There we go. We're in the groove now. I'll get better at my timing. We can pull different sound files here. Now, I did play instead of stop. Okay, that was a long roundabout way of letting you in on something else. P bind is fine, but uh, I personally like pbind def using these folders because in real time you can change the actual folder. So in this case, pbind def, just need to add a few things, Maybe, actually probably just one or two things. Uh, I think that's it. Let's try it. Hmm. That pack is weird. Oh, that's a little better. Okay, that's good. Now, let's go ahead and uh, get our kick back. And change our folder. I don't particularly like that.
count for. And hard command stop. And there you have it. So you can change folders and all that. And hopefully this gives you some inspiration on uh, what to do with your percussion kit or your percussion section in your composition piece, if indeed you are exploring Super Collider. Um, but that indeed is the uh, third installment for composing rhythm in Super Collider. So, excuse me, as I get into exploring more, I'm happy to show you more things um, as I personally explore percussion in Super Collider. Uh, more to come, I do want to explore things like panning and um, start positions and where to start inside an audio file as well as the rate of an audio file and how you can use a method called call a method called MIDI ratio uh, to transpose those those start positions in the audio file so uh, yes more to come and hopefully this uh, gets some some ideas going for you in your creative process as always, thank you for watching and listening and stay tuned for every video, um, for every, for a video coming up every Thursday. Thanks for watching.